Good morning folks. In this video I would like to show you how to replace a circulation pump on an outdoor wood furnace. This is on a Heatmaster C375, but the principles I'm going to show you will work on basically any brand of outdoor furnace. Well, the first step to change this pump is to disconnect the power, which this one is on a plug. So you just That makes it easy. Sometimes they're hardwired in, you'll just need to turn off the power to the whole furnace. Next step would be to close the valves so you don't drain the whole furnace back on yourself. We have a valve above the pump here and also a valve up here on the return line. Now you will notice when I unbolt the pump that I'm going to lose the water from here down to here that's in that blue line. It'll gurgle backwards through the system. But that's okay, it's not enough water to matter. Okay, so I've got the power turned off. The valves on supply and return are closed. So the next step would be to unbolt the pump. Let's use an 11 sixteenths on the nut and a 5 eighths on the bolt head. That's probably the most common size you'll see. Loosening this up. So I'll take this bolt completely out, and the, on the other side, I'll just loosen because I don't have to take it out the way the flange is made on the circulator. On the bottom here. One thing to be careful about if the furnace is hot and you turn off the power there's no circulation the lines as they cool off may shrink and pull back away from the pump so the faster you do this the better here yeah, i'm losing the water just down from the top valve down now it's stopped Sometimes your O-rings will be frozen on a little bit, but you can pop it loose. Now you can see that O-ring there, uh, it's compressed and hard, and the pump's pretty cruddy. That's fairly normal. That O-ring has been compressed. If you're changing out for a new pump, I would recommend you use a new O-ring. Now this one probably would seal up, it's still pretty rubbery, but they're hard uh, and really flattened out. You better do new ones, especially if you're using Taco. Taco has a very small O-ring, and it's tough to reuse a Taco O-ring. This is a Bell and Gossett. They're a little bigger. Grundfuss uses about the same size um, O-ring as the C&G. So to replace your um, cord on the pump, you take off the cover. you got two wire nuts. Um, you take those loose, there's a little push-in plastic connector there, some people use a metal one. Um, pop that out, maybe your new pump, pop it in, two wire nuts back together, um, and you're good to go. It's really not much to it. Grunfuss uses a little push-in connector, or a little tab you push over. If you pay attention, it's pretty straightforward, it's, that's not much to the electrical part of it. So I'll put my cover back on. Don't pinch your wires. I've done that and shorted it out and tripped the breaker. And make sure your direction is correct when you bolt back up. You want your arrow pointing the same direction as before or you'll reverse flow in the system. Okay, so we're ready to bolt this back up. Now if you notice, I have the nut already attached on each side on one of them. On one side, I should say. I'm going to hook the pump in like this. Drop my bolt in on the other. Well, I like Bell and Gossett because it's much easier to attach. I'll hand tighten it. You want to tighten it evenly. I've broken the flange off of the, the ears off the pump, um, tightening way too much on one side. 
this side's looser, so I'm going to tighten that one up first so it bumps. I would also come back in a day or so and double check these bolts. I have seen them loosen up over time. Not real common, but it doesn't hurt to double check. Okay, I'm tightening down, I'm squishing that O-ring. Just as long as it's pretty snug. I'll do the same thing on the bottom. So we're bolted back up. I'll open the supply valve. You can hear the air bubbles go back up into the tank. It's important you let that air out of there before you start the pump running. I got that valve open. Go we'll up here, open a return valve. And you're ready to plug it in. You may hear an air bubble or two come through. After it's running for a few seconds, you can check. I can feel on the return valve the water flowing through when I squeeze it. So, yep, it's up and running and you're back ready to go. Thanks for watching.